In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Tecla TEDS API to calculate an existing calculation from the TEDS Engineering Library. I've already got a project here and some code to read in some of the input parameters for a concrete beam design. To start calculating an existing calculation, I need to use the initialize calc method on the iCalculator interface. Once this method is running, it will show the user interface of the calculation I've selected. So, how do I predefine the input for that calculation? It's simple, I just need to use the variables from the calculator that we assigned first and the original initialize. And use that in the call to the second initialize. Remember, initializing the calc will effectively start a new calculation. So I can't just, I won't just have the values of B and H already defined. But from that, the first initialization, I can retrieve the variables B and H that have already been defined, and now I can use them in the initialize calc. But to start calculating an existing calculation, I also need to know the name of the calc item and the calc library it is stored in. But how do I find that out? Simple, just open TEDS for Word, go to the engineering library in the index and find the calculation that you're interested in. In this case, the RC beam design. And then enable the properties window and you can see here the name of the item and the name of the library. So I can just copy those values into my code so that it will run that particular calculation. Let's build my project. That's worked without error. And let's start running the calculation. We'll enter our section size that we want to use. And then the calculations should start running with the user interface shown with the section sizes we've input. Except when we look at the section, actually those values haven't been brought in. So why is that? To find out why, I need to read the documentation which accompanies the calculation. So let's cancel that for the moment and go back to TEDS for Word and the engineering library. And if we now look at the components for this calculation, we'll see that there is some documentation for the variables. If we open the preview window and look at this documentation, we can see that it says that there's a suffix on the variable names, S dash, and this indicates the number of the section. The reason for this is that the calculation can be used to do multiple section designs. Therefore, for the variables that we're interested in, the beam width of the section and the beam height, we actually need to include this, this extra text on the name of the variable. So if I go back to my code now, and add in that extra suffix, And note, this was subscripted text, which is why I'm using the underscore and the opening and closing brace. And now if I build my project and run it again, as before, I'll enter the dimensions, 350 millimeters by 550 millimeters. And this time it should run the calculation. And because I'm using the variables that the calculation is actually using, the width and the height of the section should be predefined in the user interface, which you can see here. So remember, it's important to refer to the documentation included with the calculation to make sure you're using the correct variables.